Hello, I am Eli J. Brown, slash Eli J. Brony, here with a Hero Factory mock that I've done. This is a character that I call Quaza Monster. Now, this character pretty much has existed in the Hero Factory universe since maybe the end of uh, the Savage Planet mission back in 2011, but has been discovered to exist by the Hero Factory probably just recently, like maybe, maybe they've just realized he exists right after the Invasion From Below mission had happened. So what could be the whole story with this guy? Well, I could probably say that he was maybe starting some sort of development during um, the Planet Quattro's mission, and if you hear some sort of buzzing noise in the background, it's because there is a heater, it's really cold where I am, so just ignore that. Uh, oh. And I would probably say that he started development um, with um, creation, um, like maybe... Well, I, I really don't know if he was either created by Witch Doctor or if he came out from some other means of, of such. Like maybe, maybe some creature, some unknown creature was on the planet Quatros and discovered these Quasa Spikes that were previously on the creatures on Quatros that uh, were under control by Witch Doctor. He just picked a couple of them up, and all of a sudden, he he's just going mad. He's go he's just going mad now. And if you will notice, he has the Hero Factory 3.0 armor pieces on his arms and legs. Um, I'll show you those. I mean, over here, he has Stormer Inferno's armor pieces. Then over here, you see Bulk and Rocka's armor pieces. And then on the knees, you see Next and Stringer. How did he get those? Well, I could probably say that after the Savage Planet mission, before the heroes went back to the Hero Factory, they discarded their 3.0 armor. Well, maybe they didn't discard all of it, uh, but, but, but this creature somehow has gained those armor pieces. And now he's using them for his own self. Well, there isn't really much... Um, that he could do with um, armor pieces that were not meant for him. He's also got these wings on the back. There are quasi spikes there too, using uh, translucent orange three long size armor pieces. And originally they were made out of uh, four, uh, not four, uh, two of these pieces each, but. I, d I decided to reduce them down to just these. And I, I really don't know if I should say that he flies or not. Well, he has to have found some way to, uh, to fly off of Quatros. I mean, I don't know if um, an animal could actually fly in space where there's no oxygen, but... You know, with Hero Factory, a fictional uh, world... Anything could be possible. He, he could have done that, because it, it could be a possibility that there is a breathable atmosphere in Hero Factory space. But that that's just my thought. He also has this weapon right here. It's, well, it's Gorath's head on a blaster. Uh, take a look at that. And I'm, I'm actually going to take this off to show you how it's done. Um, it, did you just faint because I took your weapon away? I'll give it back, alright? I just want to show the audience... Just show the audience it, alright? I'll give it back to you when I'm done, alright. So, this features uh, a old Bionicle Xamarosphere launcher, though you probably have to do that to get the Xamarosphere back in, or you could just take the top of this off right there, and I'll show you how this is, um, done. It uses this... Oh, it was on. Okay. This old ball piece, um, to hold the Gorass mask on. And it actually uses a broken 
ball cap piece in the three long size, though these pieces right oh, sorry. These pieces right here are hiding that. And so I put the Goris mask on like that. And then put the put it on there. Okay? Here you go. See? I told you I would give it back to you. And now with the head here, well, you guys may recognize that mask from Bionicle. It's, um... Actually, I can't remember his name, but you know who he is. So I used this... I actually did a custom uh, build on, um, on this guy's head. I actually did a custom build on the body, too, so I think I'll show you that. I'll start off with the head. Don't worry, I'll put your head back on when I'm done. Oh, it looks like he doesn't want his head to come off. Okay. Well, I'll just show them. Uh, show you guys. This. Well, first I gotta take 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 the mask off. And and basically, um, th this uses. I know you're thinking about falling off, falling backwards. These two pieces right here. Um, to make sure that the head is lowered properly. And then, this five long size translucent orange armor piece is basically supposed to be used as part of the eyes. And then, right here, I use a four long size axle piece and a translucent ball cup piece from the old Bionicle series that you may remember from the Rakshi sets. And, that's, and so I put this on, and then I put that mask on, and, and there you go, it's pretty, it's pretty good. And you probably already noticed this um, earlier in the video, but I put an old Bionicle mask on the back of the head just for some coverage, because with, without that head, oh, first he fainted because I took his weapon away, and now he drops his weapon. Wow. This guy must have a multiple personality. Maybe there are a lot of things about this guy that even I don't know about. Gee, I created this guy and I don't know everything about him. But as I said, without this uh, bionicle head on the back of the head for coverage, it just looks kind of bare. Though you can see, um, sort of see how the, um, how the head is assembled, but yeah, it, you it it really is um, kind of empty without that. Okay, so now I'm going to actually uh, take the weapon away, and now I'm going to show you how the body is actually built. Okay, so I'm going to take these wings off um, because they're pretty obvious, and you see that uh, that piece right there, that old Tomometru Lake. Well, I'm gonna take that off because that's also pretty obvious. And th this piece right here, with an axle piece here and a friction and two friction holes going the other way, that uses a Baki, not not Baki, Vizarak body. And if anybody is coming downstairs, please do not disturb me. I am busy filming. Thank you. And. Uh, well, then take, take this part off, and, um, well, this part basically was just done to provide some, some coverage for the back. And, and then, uh, I'm just gonna put that back on because, well, there really isn't much to talk about on the back, but now, Front. Let's see if I can get this off without taking any other piece off. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I think I can show it off like this. Please, let me take your head off. I'll put it back on when I'm done, alright? Alright? Gee, this guy is so insistent. Okay, so, I'm actually gonna take the arms off, because I don't want them to be in the way. Um, this is how it is basically built. These two pieces are used there, and that piece is used right there. And, um, and these pieces make sure that the arms stay in place. I did a custom build because, well, I started off using a Hero Factory torso piece 
but this armor piece just did not work out with that. And I really wanted to use this this armor piece for that, but it just did not work out using the Hero Factory main body, so I just made my own sort of skeleton. So that's the top part of the body, and this part right here, um, well, this part basically is supposed to make sure uh, that there is nothing there um, in between. Uh, so I just put that. There. Oh, move. What's it supposed to? Yeah, this thing actually turns about um, like that. So I. So yeah, that that little piece right there inside was supposed to keep the body from moving. And that's about it. So I'm gonna put all of these pieces back on, oh, back on. Um, and that is what I call for now a quasi monster. So I may decide to. I think I'm gonna go with that name. Oh, it, it really was. Oh great, first, he doesn't want me to take off his- Oh, okay, okay. Doesn't want me to take off his head, but now he doesn't want me- He didn't want me to put it back on. That's kind of odd. Okay, and here's your weapon back. Okay, so that is the Quasi Monster. Well, <laughs> I kind of learned a few things from this guy, um, in this little video, like, he faints when I take his weapon away. Well, at least the first time, anyway. Or... Or could he even just want to be a monster? Does he even want to be a villain? I made him a villain, but is that what he wants? Hmm... Well, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and... I'm gonna keep this guy around on my, uh, shelves like I do with most of my mocks. Um... To keep... Uh, in case I ever need to show him off in a video again, um, or, or do some pictures, it's good to keep these guys around for, mm, one, two, maybe three years or so. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.